going on guys and welcome to another video and today's video is going to be another episode in the strength series and it is episode 3 of deadlifts or week 2 of the Wendler 531 program so let's get started the layout for today's session will consist of the usual three warm-up sets the first set will be 60 kg times 5 the second set 75 by 5 and the third warm-up set will be 90 kg times 3 moving on to the first working set will be 105 kg uh, for three reps and then rest two minutes the second working set will be three reps at 120 kg and the last set will be an AMRAP at 135 kg the usual the three warm-up sets were nice nice and easy the first working set was pretty easy again three reps on that the second working set was 120 yeah again like, it, it was quite quite easy the last set AMRAP was an absolute killer. I only got four reps on that, but um, I'd say we are progressing. But hopefully we, we keep progressing. I don't want to hit a plateau. That's uh, a big thing for me. I, if, if I hit a plateau, I really do get frustrated with myself and can get quite down about it. So hopefully I don't hit a plateau and this program just keeps progressing like it is. Let's talk about my nutrition throughout this. It's been very, very <laughs> calorically high. You're talking 3,500 to 4,000 calories per day. If I train twice, then it will be more towards the 4,000 calorie mark. The protein intake is very high, again, around the 220 to 240 mark. I'm not really counting macros per se. Not really, yeah, I've not really got major, major macros to hit. The carb intake is around 350 to 450 again that can vary more towards 350 I'd say and the fats I'm keeping around 60 to 80 again they are quite high but I really do need the fuel especially if I'm training twice a day because I do need the recovery from them. You've probably noticed that I've been doing a few challenges recently food challenges please note that I do not eat like that all of the time because I want to put um, good muscle mass on but minimize fat gain. I know I'll, I'll gain a little bit of fat But the way I see it you don't have to put fat on to gain muscle That's that's it some people literally go over the top and dirty but not saying that's wrong But for me, I think keeping as lean as possible year-round and then when it does come to eventually competing I won't have to take as much off as I would say doing a dirty bulk and putting a lot of fat on So that's my take on the whole clean bulk dirty bulk thing <laughs> so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one peace